Hi everyone. You know, I'm thinking about this piston here. I mean, uh, it's got a stuck piston ring. That, uh, you can kind of see all the blow by in here, all the the, uh, the varnish, everything stuck in there. And if you take a, a magnifying glass and you look near the top of this thing, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's like a, a whole uh, upper gap is completely filled in and this ring is kind of glued into place. So it's pretty badly stuck. Here's kind of like the worst area of it. You know, this half of the piston's really in bad shape, and the other half looks a lot better. But, uh, say like, here and here is like some of the worst of it. And, I, and I'm thinking, how do you repair this? Now, let's just say I hadn't taken uh, my uh, angle grinder and ripped apart the engine to get the piston out. Uh, how could I have repaired it? So uh, I, I've been reading on the internet, trying to see how people have been uh, freeing stuck piston rings. And uh, I came up with a, a lot of different suggestions. Uh, one person said acetone worked for him, where you open up the spark plug hole, pour acetone in there. We can try carburetor cleaner. We got other various solvents. Uh, one guy had some stuff uh, like the, the Marvel Mystery Oil, uh, fuel injector cleaner. Uh, some people suggested uh, diesel fuel and then automatic transmission fluid. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little experiment here. I'm going to uh, simulate these conditions and see what actually works. So if I can find something that repairs this uh, stuck piston ring, well, uh, hopefully this will be good information you could use to repair your motor without uh, tearing it apart. So uh, when, that would be nice if you could just dump something down the spark plug hole and fix it. So I'm going to run a little experiment and we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm ready to start the experiment. I took a, uh, put the piston in there, pushed it in all, up all the way. So you could simulate this by having your uh, piston at top dead center. Just look through the spark plug hole and get it, get it up near the top because uh, there's ports on the side, the exhaust port and the intake ports uh, where the stuff would leak out. So you want to have it up all the way. And I took a, a C-clamp in here just to secure the piston so it doesn't fall out. And then my first candidate will be a gum out carburetor uh, cleaner. I've had good luck with this in the past. and and I got 30% free. So uh, uh, the, the plan is, is I'll uh, put, a, put a, a few tablespoons of carburetor cleaner into the spark plug hole and then replace the spark plug, come back tomorrow and see whether uh, anything got better. Okay, uh, it's soaked all night in carburetor cleaner. And it's like every few hours I would open up the spark plug hole, pour, spray some in there because, uh, you know, I mean, uh, the, the, the rings are stuck and the stuff was leaking through pretty quickly. But it probably stayed wet in there for quite a bit. It had uh, quite a long time. I've inspected this thing under a microscope and, and maybe you can see there, okay, here's a good shot. If you look, you can see a black line above the ring and a black line below the ring. Let's see if I can even go closer. Come on, baby. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it's, this thing's an autofocus thing. It's a... Uh, but, uh, oh man, so anyway, you can still see all the gunk gluing that ring in there. So, uh, yeah, so uh, the rings are still stuck. Maybe, maybe you can see it right there. But uh, yeah, the rings are still stuck. Uh, carburetor cleaner did not work. Ring's still stuck, so I'm going to try something else. And maybe I can find something that, that really does it. Uh, and I guess I'm going to Google some more and see if any, uh, I can find any more ideas on cleaning the rings. But uh, I was really hoping carburetor cleaner would do it. But uh, I'm going to try something else and maybe, maybe we'll, I'll get lucky. Now I'm going to try, as you may be guessing, automatic transmission fluid. And so uh poured some in there. It doesn't take too much. I, it's actually... Uh, Stain pretty flush the top. Once it goes down a little bit, I'm going to uh, put the spark plug in there and then hopefully I'll create a bit of a vacuum to keep it from draining through. But uh, uh, this is actually staining a lot better. The, the gum out was kind of draining through pretty quickly. So uh, uh, this is much thicker. So uh, it seems to be staying in there for a lot longer. And hopefully tomorrow at this time, 
I'll be able to take the thing out and it'll be spotlessly clean and all the gunk that's uh, caked in around that piston ring will be out of there. Well, here we are. This is uh, our piston, our, our piston experiment. After 24 hours in automatic transmission fluid. Let me just take it out here. Take a look at it. I don't know if you can see the black line of crud in the gap above the piston ring and below the piston ring. But, uh, you know, I, I wiped off all the transmission fluid and, and a little bit of the dirt came off with it when I wiped off the transmission fluid. It's definitely cleaner than it was before. And on the top, you can really see it. There's some areas that have actually gotten a, a lot cleaner on the top of the piston after the, the automatic 24 hours in automatic transmission fluid. I know, at this rate, maybe in a month it would uh, cure it. But uh, this really isn't a cure. And like all the stuff I've read on the internet, all these forums, how, how people will pour, pour a couple tablespoons down their, their cylinder heads and, and what have you and say they clean, uh, freed up a stuck ring, well, the evidence just doesn't support it. Although uh, it, it did clean some stuff up. I mean, uh, it didn't uh, do a 100% job. And uh, I'm going to have to try something else. I'm going to have to try some uh, different solvents. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm going to look around and, and see what I can find uh, and, and give it a try. I'm going to do some more experiments and I'll report back. Okay, well, next we'll try paint thinner or mineral spirits, and we'll see how that works. Now, this is the next day, and uh, uh, I see something really interesting. I put the, the paint thinner in there last night, and I'm still at the same level in the morning. Now, uh, this is really good news, uh, and, I, and I noticed, uh, I think maybe that the automatic transmission fluid after I got done using the automatic transmission fluid, it kind of, it must have freed up the rings because they're making good seal right now. And, uh, you know, even though I still saw that black stuff inside the rings, it looks like the automatic uh, transmission fluid may have done a good job with it. But let's pull these things out and see what they look like with the paint thinner. Okay, this is after 12 hours in the paint thinner. It's, it's a lot cleaner. I, I you know, um, gave it a light wipe to, to take the, the thinner off, and it took a lot of the dirt with it. Looks a lot cleaner, and uh, you yeah, still get all the stuff on the side, but it certainly looks a lot better. And uh, it seems like a combination of the automatic transmission fluid and the paint thinner seems to have done uh, a lot to, to really clean this thing up. And the good news is, is it's now sealing. Uh, you know, the, uh, the first time I used the carburetor cleaner, I would put that stuff in there and it would just pour out so quickly. When I first put the automatic transmission fluid in there, it, it would drip out pretty quickly. But, uh, you know, it seems like 24 hours in automatic transmission fluid and then uh, uh, a little bit of this stuff in here. Uh, you know, like I said, none of this stuff leaked out at all. So I think it must have been the automatic transmission fluid that freed it up, but it's definitely a, a lot cleaner with the, the mineral spirits. And I don't know, it uh, looks a lot better, and it's now sealing. So um, I, can, I can conclude that that would have been a cure. So the, the stuff I read on the internet about the automatic transmission fluid seems pretty good. Next, I'm going to explore why this happened. And I think I have some ideas. Uh, the reason why is because I have the California, uh, you know, Air Resource Board, uh, you know, the CARB approved uh, non-adjustable carburetor. And uh, they adjust those things way too lean, so it runs a lot hotter, and it doesn't have as much fuel as it would need, of course, which means it doesn't quite have as much oil as it needs when it runs. So uh, I'm going to uh, do some experiments, not only on finding, fixing this thing, but finding the cause of the problem. And uh, my next video is going to explore adjusting the non-adjustable <clears throat> carburetors, and I have some ideas for that. So stay tuned.